Welcome back to the channel. We here with another one. We got another Supreme unboxing. The reason I'm trying to catch up with Supreme is because I still got mad fall shit. Bro, I still haven't unboxed so much fall winter. And now we're in... Well, actually, before I start giving you guys fun facts, we'll open it. But, yeah, so before I start getting my spring, I already got stuff that I have to open up from week one. Uh, spring, summer, or yeah, spring, summer drop 21. I still haven't even opened that because I still got so much fall stuff. I'm like debating. I'm like, I might just skip straight to spring and then just keep sprinkling fall, winter. Kind of got overloaded. But, <clears throat> yeah. With no further ado, we can start actually. Yo, I'm always quick to just skip over the, um. So, this drop is from 10-22-2020. Woo! That's how you can tell I'd be slacking. Yeah, again, October 22nd, 2020, fall, winter, 20. And as y'all see, hold up, I gotta put some lotion in my hands. Y'all just came out the shower, my hands look fucking crazy. I can't open that with. I can't even drive a car with Ashley hands. You want me to unbox Supreme? I was just checking if we got any cool stickers before we went in there, but now we got a damaged Supreme one. That one looks like it got like wet or something. Still back to the regist the registration, bro, to vote. <laughs> so we just got two of these. No cool Supreme. I was hoping we had like something special. Both for these bad boys. So let's drop. We got two things that week. This is the first one. Let's see what it is. I'm pretty sure if you guys know your drops. You already know what it is before I even finish unrolling this jet. <laughs> Vacuum seal, BPA free, stainless steel, supreme bottle. Cup included for you to put your little coffee in. It's leak proof, lightweight, insulated, keeps it hot or cold. Must I say again, stainless steel. Yo, I bike, as you guys see in my videos. So this, this was kind of just bought. This is not even for the reflip. This is, I don't even think it's reflipping for anything. Let's see what it's going for. This was just for me to stunt harder when I go biking and stuff. You know, when it's like, oh my God, I'm so parched. Oh shit. Oh, you gotta unscrew this, okay. Okay. That's something inside this bitch. Sig. So it's just a collab between that whatever company is. Probably people know what it is out there. I'm not too aware, but S I G G Sig. I believe that's how it's called. Yeah, it just shows you a whole bunch of nothing. <laughs> I'm talking shit, but there's a whole bunch of stuff I don't really care too much about. Because again. I bought it just for the flaws, but it looks like I guess it's good at what it does, keeping water at its temperature that you desire, hot or cold. Again, yeah, that was really just cop. 25 ounces, nothing too crazy. Oh, I'll probably make like do a mixed drink in here or something, but this is fire, look. Gemstone IBT, the art of hydration. Excellent since 1908. Yeah, so I guess whatever company that is, they known for making water bottles. If it's one thing we know, it's how to make water bottles. That's a lit, that's a lit shit. Top of the bottle got the company's logo. It should look like a fire hydrant. Uh, bottom of the bottle just shows so the bottle is uh, 0.75 liters or 25 ounces, whatever you like. 25 ounces is not too bad. It's actually smooth for like a bike. Yo, can I be bringing my gallon with me usually when I go like hiking and biking? But for no reason, because I don't even ever put a dent in it and it just weighs me down for no reason. So this is on a little flyer. 
and it's vacuum sealed so I kept saying like in case I change my mind and I don't want to use it for my water I could put my like Khalifa in here you put all your like flour and stuff in here vacuum sealed so whatever you put in here no scent is leaking as you can tell this shit got a heavy duty screw so yeah this would be dope as well for that like if you need like a stash jar sign this would be a fire stash jar they have a black one as well there was red and black that came out how do you slide this back in come in Yeah, so it came in either red and then the oh I forgot to tell you guys, yeah, it comes with the cup, the top cup. Instructions inside. Fuck I need instructions on how to pour my water. Cup on the top if you wanna drink some coffee or something, or if you wanna be fly, screws on to make sure it don't fall off on you. That's dope. So this is the first thing we got in. Where's my phone at? I just slid my phone out. I was trying to tell you guys the retail, that's why I grabbed my phone. I, I don't even remember what I paid this, how long ago it was. Let's see. Last sale, $59. Lowest ass, $59. Black's the same thing. Black's at uh, $59 last sale as well. Retail was $54 for it. Okay, so $54 is going for $59. Not even worth the flip. Not even worth the flip. <clears throat> More just kept for the start. And for the last piece... Oh, do you guys see what we have here? Do you see what we have here? Do you know even before I un unbag it? If you don't, I'll help you out. Supreme bobsledding tea. I love this tea. What's crazy was that at first when I bought it, I bought it for myself. So this was this was bought for me is why I bought the blue. Did I say that right now? Supreme bobsled, yeah, bobsled long sleeve top. Um yeah, so this was originally bought for me, and then I just started thinking, because I was like, nah, it's probably going to flip, because it's kind of fly, like, it's probably going to flip, and then, yo, know, this shit was the biggest bust in the world, but thank God, because I bought it for myself, so when it should be a bust, and I bought it for me, I have no option but to keep it, and that's what it was bought for. Let me see, I want to let you guys know some fun facts before we start going in on it. So again, came out 10-22-2020. Retail for it on Supreme was 98 bucks. That's the only thing that kind of irritated me because it was such a it was such a bust. Well, yeah, because Supreme, I mean, Stock X charges more, so I guess it's been going for like right now. Last sale was 75, 75. It usually charges 20. It would come out to like 95 after buying. I paid more. I paid what 95 retail plus the cup. That still didn't bring me over to 200. So I ended up still paying the 10 dollars shipping. Yeah, I ended up paying like 104. Well, no, because that 10 was divided by two items, so still. You get me? I still paid 99 bucks for it. Somebody sold it Tuesday. Oh, no, that was Tuesday. Damn, it hasn't been something like that at all. Somebody just bought it on the first for 74. Oh, but this is all sizes. Bro, only one large. The last time a large sold in blue was 96 bucks. So the kid probably paid like 116. And that shit was November 21st. If I can say bust, bust. But again, perfect because I be buying shit for myself. I'll see the reflip on it. And I'm like, damn, I don't know if I want it anymore. I kind of want that money. This, you don't got an option, playboy. You gonna keep it. <laughs> All right, let's get to it. Let's get to it. Oh, and I love these. So that's another little perfect add-on. What I be using these for? I don't even know what I use. Them. I'm actually going on a trip, so this is getting packed with me. This is La Flame says. This is the blue bobsled long sleeve tee. The print is the same on the front and back. It also came in black, and I want to say white or gray. I'm not too sure, so we'll check right now to be correct. So as you can see, it's like that, it's like a, a printed, like, I don't even know, because you can see, like, the pixelizations in the picture right here. And whatever was printed, you see it? Like, you know when, like, an image is stretched out, super expanded? Yo, I told you I gotta stop taking hot-ass dabs before these videos. As you probably can hear my voice, I haven't learned my lesson. So I have to get the Vita Coco to save my life. Yo, I could live off this. If this shit wasn't so expensive... 
I would love to do a challenge of drinking this for the rest of my life. All right, let's get back into this now that I can talk again. <clears throat> a little bit. What I was trying to explain was, you guys can see the pixelation on that, how that's like, obviously it was done on purpose. I'm not trying to tell you guys like, ooh, look where they fucked up. No, that was obviously done on purpose. I think that's super dope. It gives it that retro look, that retro feel, which it wasn't, because I'm pretty sure this was from that, what bobsledding team? It was just a bobsledding team that was just in a supreme bobsled. Let's see, hold on. Hold on, hold on, I like getting the facts. Yeah, so there was a picture of the U.S. bobsledding team in January of this year, 2021. Riding in, like, the Supreme, like, just testing out in it. Riding in the Supreme bobsled. So, I'm just talking shit. I don't know if I'm 100% correct. But what I'm assuming is, these pictures were taken from when they were, like, using the bobsleds. I know it came out after in January 2001. We don't know if they were practicing before or before they even got it to the U.S. Olympic team. Supreme himself was testing it out. We don't know. So I'm thinking it's not a retro picture. That's what, that's what I'm trying to explain. But yeah, it came out an article in January 2001 of the U.S. Olympic team practicing in the Supreme bobsled. That's super dope. Yo, when I saw this online, I remember I saw, at first I almost went for the white. I almost went for the white. Then I almost went for the black. Well, I've, off, off the rip of looking at it, the blue was my favorite. So just off the rip of looking at it, the blue is my favorite. And then I started thinking, you know, when you see black, you're like, yo, but the black, man, goes with everything. And I was just like, yo, fuck the goes with everything. I always try to get color when I buy these brands. And I love this blue tea. I'm not even going to lie to you. This is perfect. This is getting packed up. The tea itself is not super thick. It's not super thick. It's a good, it's a good cotton, it's a good cotton t-shirt. Which is dope because the place I'm going to is hot. So I don't, yeah, it's 100% cotton. You just don't want to go with a super thick tea. What do you guys think about this tea? This tea is a lot to unwrap. As you can see, the Supreme in the bottom of the sled right there, just the SU fading into the black. Again, you can see the pixelization going from the red into the black. That's what makes this shirt to me. That, again, is the reason why I bought this shirt, why I love this shirt. If it was an HD picture, I probably wouldn't have got it. You get me? If it was a clear photo, I probably wouldn't have done it. I probably would have sat out of this one. I would have skipped but I just loved this blurry photo on like how it was shot. So it looks like the shit was zooming by and somebody had like a fucking Nokia or something that is so pixelized. Is that three, that's three helmets inside, right? I'm not capping. Yeah, that's three helmets. I'm pretty, yeah. That's a helmet, that's a, and that's another helmet. All right, there's three people inside this bobsled. Reason why I think it didn't sell so crazy, because if you notice one thing from buying Supreme and reselling Supreme, stuff that resells always says Supreme clear, and usually in big letters either going across somewhere that it's clear and you can see the word supreme it's gonna flip people just go straight for the they want they want the logo to be seen this you can tell like if you see this there's no i know the drop so if i see this t i would know oh my god yeah fall 2020 yeah this week drop cool a lot of people probably wouldn't know that this is supreme off the rip like just looking at it only other branding it has is inside the shirt inside the shirt you can see the supreme tag right there we'll do the zoom up as we usually do but what do you guys think about this tea is this a tea that you guys would buy not buy would you wear it now that it's even lower than because you could buy it basically if you buy it for 80 bucks 90 bucks 90 you'll probably pay like 10 dollars over retail and if you buy it for like 80 bucks you'll probably pay exactly what i paid retail including the shipping that's what I'm saying. If, if you can get this for 70 or... All right, so let me let, let's exp, let me tell you guys what I buy and what I not buy again. Would I pay what I paid? No, because I know I could have got it lower now, obviously. But today, if I'm you guys and you don't own the tea and you like this tea, I would definitely pay, like... If you're on, like, StockX, you're probably going to pay with, with... Before shipping, let me tell you what I'll pay. I'll pay, like, 83 down for blue. Black, I think, is a little bit... Let's see what black is. I think black's selling better than blue, as it usually always is. But let's see what black's selling for. I wouldn't get black, though. I'm not going to lie to you. Well, if I can get it for a steal, I would. But again, I would choose this exact same blue. This one's super dope. Actually, I'm capping. The black is fire, too. The black is super dope. Uh, Black is selling better than mine. I'm not going to lie to you. Black, yeah, black's selling way better than mine. So the last black, actually, yeah, you got to pay some money for black. 
Black sold, ah, no, nah, not really, actually, my bad. Black just started selling well. It's selling more frequent than mine. But on the 11th, it sold for 75 79 so. But it just sold on Valentine's Day at 6 a.m. for 110 That means with shipping and all, that kid probably paid like 128 130 Lowest ask right now is 113 Highest bid is $49. Last sale, 110 What I would pay for this? The black one, I probably would, wouldn't pay more than like $90. I would pay $5 more just because it's black, and I know people want to sell that one more. Would I, if I had to pick now out of the three, I'm sticking to blue. Yo, the blue is just super dope. I like the blue with the red. Even though the only complaint that I'll have about the blue now that I'm looking at the pictures is that the helmet on the riders, if you can tell, the helmet on the riders, are this, it's the same blue as the background on some parts. So the left side is, well, again, it's flipped. So let me see here. Yeah, here is the, the right side is darker than the left side. On the back, it's the left side that's darker than the right side. But, yeah, the helmets are the same color as the light part. That's the only thing. So on the black, you, you would, you'd be able to tell the difference with, like, the helmets in the background perfectly. Yo, but I like this tee. I'm not going to lie to you. This is something I'm definitely going to wear. Packing this up. This is hitting my suitcase. I like it. The bottle, definitely not mad at it. Perfect purchase. This shit is about to kill. If I don't use it to bike, which I think I am, and just like to chill and shit in the summertime, I'm probably going to use it as a, as, a, as a stash, but I don't think I am. I think it's going to be used for summertime festivities. Going to the beach, make a mixed drink in the house. I want to keep it cold, throw, throw it in here, put it in the cooler. But you get me? You can make a mixed drink in your house, pour it in here, throw it in your cooler, it'll stay cold. Must I say... It was worth the purchase. And it's still super cheap. Like, people pay like 80 bucks for a Yeti cup. Like, bro. Let me tell you guys again. BPA free. Cup included. Lightweight. Insulated cup. Stainless steel. 18 slash 8. I don't know what that means, but it says it there. Uh, and it's leak proof. Oh, so I guess that brand Sig is it's Switzerland Bottles. That's the name of it, Sig Switzerland Bottles AG, that's the name of the headquarters. Yo, this can keep your, whatever you put in here, hot for 20 hours. Whatever you put in there that's cold, it'll keep it cold for 24 hours. That's wild. That's wild. Yeah, definitely keeping this. I should have bought two. I should have bought one to put on ice. I like it as a decoration, like, you get me? Put in the man cave on top of something DS and have one, one to use. I'll probably order another one. I'll probably order the black and just put it as decoration. October 22nd, fall, <laughs> fall, winter, 2020. What do you guys think about this week's cap? I, I, again, I like the blue tea and I like my cup. I'm happy with the purchase. Neither one of them is going to be sold. So this episode is not for the reflip. This is for the personal collection. This tea right here will be added to my personal collection. I'll be wearing this in the next vlog that y'all gonna see in the next couple weeks i'm gonna be wearing this in a vlog and shout out to vita coco for always getting my my boys back all right so we're about to get into the zoom up i'll show you guys all the details of the shirt so yeah stay tuned to uh, for that and then after that i'll see you guys in the next video we out